Listen up. Everyone is going to die. You have to watch this show. I'm Melissa Homer, your favorite cleaning expert from Microfiber Wholesale, here to boost the signal on an incredibly important show called The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning. One day they will die. We all will. But the point is, they all need The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning. Now, before you panic, it's not some weird show about a goth band that's turned into a cleaning company. This is a serious topic. The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning. The Art of Dostanik is actually about going through your stuff and paring it down to what matters through the lens of trying to save your loved ones the pain of going through your crap once you've passed. It sounds like it'd be an incredibly dark topic, but it's actually a wonderfully inspiring one. This series does it right. They are bringing in psychologists and interior designers and organizers to help people realize how much the junk in their lives is holding them back and weighing them down. This topic is incredibly important to me, both personally and professionally. Professionally, I know our country is absolutely sagging under the weight of all the stuff we've bought. We're driven to such mass consumerism and to assuage our guilt over how much we've bought, we can't let anything go. When a coffee pot breaks, we buy a new one, but say, oh, I'll tinker with it and fix it later. And in the closet it goes. We buy new pans and we say, oh, my kids will want these scratched up old pots and pans when they go to college. No, they won't, but in the cupboard it goes. And soon every inch and corner of our homes are overflowing with nonsense that no one wants and no one needs. And your loved ones are left to go through when they're so sad about losing you and every pot and every pan feels like guilt throwing it out. It's the worst. And I know that because I went through it personally myself. In my situation, I was lucky. My loved one was still alive. My mother was fighting for her life due to diabetes. She had an infection in her foot that was trying to take her life and it only took her foot, thank goodness. But in the middle of that chaos where I am working a full-time job, raising my two little ones, trying to advocate for her care in the hospital and visit her every day, I suddenly had to immediately go through her entire property, clear it out, and sell it because it was full of stairs that she could no longer navigate. And we had to sell that home and get her money so that she could get into an apartment that was made for people with disabilities by the time she got out of medical rehab. It was no joke. Now you may think, hey, you're a professional cleaner and organizer. This should have been cake for you. But guess what? I'm human too. And even as a professional, I can tell you this process broke me. I can't tell you how many times in that process I stood there crying in random rooms where my friends couldn't see because thank God my friends and family came to help me do it. But trying to go through the overwhelming challenge of going through generations worth of nonsense because my mother grew up in this home. It was two generations worth of junk. My mother kept a beautiful home, beautifully organized, but every quarter and inch was stuffed with neatly organized nonsense she didn't need and I had to pare it down to a one-bedroom apartment and I can't tell you the stress and the sadness and I was helping someone that was alive. I can't imagine doing that process for someone that I just love the past. If you care about the people around you, understand that you're one car accident away from putting them in that same situation. Deal with your stuff now. Watch at least one episode and let it inspire you. And once you're done watching, if you want more cleaning content, come back to our channel, like, subscribe, and follow as we bring you the best in cleaning content that we can. We hope to see you here soon. I knew that you guys were going to declutter my house. I didn't know you were going to declutter my soul.